Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Midnight Woods is my name, and tonight Midnight Woods will be trying to unlock the next animal, uh, which requires me to play with the alley cat uh, to unlock it for purchase. So, let's go and do that right now. I do actually know exactly what the animal is, and maybe you do as well, but still, we're going to find out in just a moment anyway. So, playing as the alley cat, uh, we're just going to unlock the animal. I will do a survival with all the animals at some point as well, uh, but I'm going to unlock all the animals first as well. I've, I've decided to do this series and I'm going to go through the story mode. So, I need to defeat the beagle boss and I need to complete one challenge and I need to change generation once. Well, seeing as that's part of the challenges, that will be no problem then. There's plenty of food in here. Well, we can make a start with this beagle. There we go. Is that the challenge done now? Can I unlock it? I can just hear the game saying, Nope, nope, you can't. Because that's not the boss. You have to defeat the boss to get the, the beagle. And that wasn't the boss. Oh, well, it looks like we have to do a bit more work then. Okay, so unfortunately it's not quite that easy. We might as well mark. Oh, sorry, one moment. Sorry about that, uh, one of my pet cats just wanted something and uh, they wouldn't be very good in the jungle, I can say that much. So yeah, um, I was interrupted, uh, that, well maybe she saw what I'm playing and thought, no why are you giving the cat on the screen so much attention, can I get any? Jeez it's busy in here, is there an event going on? No there isn't, just um, loads of rabbits. Yeah, I don't know if you have any pet cats or dogs. If you do, how long do you think they'd survive in this game? Uh, in my case, they wouldn't survive very long. I can say that much. And there's hardly any predators in here as well. Do I actually need all this food? I'm not even sure that I do, but still it's nice to rank up nice and early. Maybe get a prime female as well when we do rank up. Okay, let's mark this flag. I'm going to mark this place. Uh, Deganzica is a nice place to mark because it's very central. And it's very quick to mark as well, which makes it a great place to go to for marking. Although that said, if you can mark other places when you're playing survival, um, it's kind of good if you've got the choice between mating in Daganzica or Shibuya Woods. I would suggest doing it in Shibuya Woods if you've already marked it, because then you can use Daganzica as a bit of an emergency place to go and mark if uh, you're having trouble anywhere else, but just because it's so easy. So uh, don't waste so... Um, don't throw away the opportunity. Um, if you can keep it as a spare place to mark, do it. That's my advice. Uh, but in this case, I don't really need to because all I need to do is unlock the beagle. I think this cat that I'm playing as is a bit overpowered. And I get a wool beanie as a present.
Okay, is that enough food? There we go. Right, so I've ranked up to a boss, which is the highest rank. So I don't really need to eat any more. I'll just have to leave them lying around. And my hunger has gone up to 27. So I needed to defeat 10 animals. That, that gives me a bit of a boost. And head for... Oh, well, I'm going to Shibuya Woods anyway. Oh, well, we might as well just go there. Oh, I don't know about taking down a zebra. I think I'm going to have to pass on that one. Look at that. The zebra isn't even scared. Yeah, that's definitely a pass. Um, what's that over there? I can see some... Oh, it's chimpanzees. Oh, well, they're, they're not threats at all. Oh, they're running away. Let's just eat one. Okay, so I've completed enough challenges. That's for certain. Now I just need to go and find a prime female. And then we're going to take down the beagle boss. And is this it? I just want to get rid of it. Why is this ever angry at me? What have I, I've just, I've just saved you from that beagle, and you're angry with me. What have I done? I've done nothing. I saved you from that beagle, and I'm going to save myself from another one. All oh, right. So the best female we could get was an average. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get a prime female. I, I need to be careful. There's a zebra who's after me, and I. Why is that zebra after me? That's not fair. Alright, luckily it's not being too attentive at the moment. Oh, we might as well eat it. Okay, so I only got an average female. I couldn't get a prime. Uh, I don't think it's really worth the effort if all we want... All we, we only need to do it once. And we only need to beat up the beagle boss. I don't actually know if it will be easy or difficult because I haven't done it for such a long time. So I get hunger plus one. Okay, well that's a fantastic stat boost. I had 25 to start with and now I've got 26. So I've got to go to the shopping district. Okay, let's go and do some shopping. Let's go and buy... I guess we'll be buying a beagle, so uh, yeah, well that makes sense. If I'm purchasing the beagle, it would only make sense that I'm going shopping. Okay, so I've acquired a costume kitty paws. Okay, so challenge, defeat the beagle boss. I do need to watch my hunger, actually. Oh look, it's gone up to 28 now. Okay, so that's a slight improvement. It started as 25, and now it's 28. Now, hunger isn't going to be a problem in the station, not only because there's lots of animals there, but also because there's three puddles of water, which I can always use uh, in case uh, I ever get hungry. For some reason, the hunger and thirst just seem to completely overlap in this game. So I drink, and that puts my hunger up just as much as eating one of the animals. Well, actually, no. No, that's not true. It doesn't do it quite as much. Let's kill this chick and just see how, what it does for my hunger. Well, so eating a chick puts my hunger up by seven. But if I drink this puddle of water here, and I'm not even drinking the whole puddle, I'm only drinking just a dribble of it, my hunger goes up by ten. So, in theory, water has got more calories than an entire baby chicken. Now, I don't think that's quite how it would work in the real world. I think that's... This is definitely... We can definitely say that this is very, very much a video game that's not entirely realistic at all times but it is a great video game all right let's go shopping for the beagle boss now I kind of have an idea of how I want to do this we're gonna try and do it quite stealthily I don't just want to jump in and try and beat the beagle boss up. I want to clean kill it without it even seeing me. My guess is it will be distracted by something and if not I will find distractions for it. I want that chick to go near it. Uh, it's not helping how bad this weather is because I can't actually see um, anything on the map. Um, 
I think it's going to be somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, those chickens are running away from something. There's the boss. All right, so it's distracted. We're just going to... There we go. Okay, so the way we take down the boss... Um, I might have been able to beat it in a fight. I don't know. Uh, but the thing is, it's much easier to just do it stealthy. So try and scare animals towards the boss. The boss will get distracted. And then when the boss is not looking, you take the boss down. So, yeah, that's the first animal uh, we've unlocked. I'm just going to go and end this run. And then... I guess we can unlock the beagle. Uh, I like to end this run. I don't like to just press quit the game because then my points don't save and you need points to unlock the animals. So I'm just going to go and end my life on purpose. There's usually some crocodiles in the sewer if you want to do things like that. Oh dear. So uh, here I'm three cats against four of these Lycaons. Might as well have a bit of fun. Oh, my life is decreasing due to hunger anyway. Well, they were supposed to be tougher than that. Let's go up against this crocodile instead. Oh, well, okay. I don't think a cat against a crocodile stands much chance. No, just a one hit. It just swings its head and that's it. There we go. Yeah. So, if you're playing as a cat, don't go fighting the crocodiles. I think we could clearly see from that. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Let's try and unlock the beagle now. Well, I've, I've unlocked it already. We just need to go into the survival and do it. Okay, yeah, obviously that's a terrible score because I wasn't going for a score. I was just trying to unlock the next animal. An error has occurred. Yeah, um... What? Am I not signed in? Oh, that's fine. Uh, PlayStation Network has been a bit unstable today. Or tonight, rather, because I I've only been playing in the night. I don't know what it's been like during the day. Alright, so... There we go. New Beagle. And... 15,000 points, that's quite affordable, and that is the beagle unlocked. So, uh, I wonder what I'll be unlocking next. Will it be... Hmm, I can't actually remember what it is, but... Oh, well, that's for the next video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll do some more... Well, a lot more of these, uh, for certain. And so, that's it for now. So, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you again shortly.